and welcome friends index numbers and in the previous lecture we studied how to convert chain based index numbers into fixed based index numbers now let's study how to convert the fixed based index numbers into chain based index numbers uh, according to me if i think as a student this is easier and say uh, that was riskier because in formula one index number which we have already calculated was to be substituted so in case of few percentage of students it may happen that the fixed base index number for the previous year they might have calculated wrongly and then all other answers will be wrong but in this case we need not to substitute the calculated answer of the previous year in this case we just need to substitute all the index numbers which are given in your problem so this is somewhat say not risky but it doesn't make any difference when we learn through proper way so how to convert the fixed base index number into the chain base index numbers again on the basis of ratio and proportion we just need to use a very simple formula and the formula is chain based index number equals to fixed based index number of the current year or current period divide it by the fixed based index number of the previous year or previous period and multiply that by 100 so this is exactly like calculating any ordinary index number yes value of current year divided by value of previous year that gives you index number in terms of ratio if multiplied by 100 that gives you percentage so this is like calculating any normal index number from this but see since there is chain based index number we want to calculate again the base is the previous period which happens to be base in case of calculating chain based index from the data so calculation of chain based index number whether from the original data or from the fixed based index numbers both are same let's calculate for this given time series the time series given is from the year 2013 to 2019 and fixed based index numbers taking base year 2012 are already given 2000 tra base year so index of base year is always 100 okay yeah now let's use this formula and calculate chain base index number for 2013 that is fixed base index number for current year 117.4 divided by the fixed base index number of previous year that is 100 and multiply this ratio by 100 yes this is simple way of calculating chain based index number whether from the data or from fixed base index number it remains 117.4 now for the 2014 fixed base index number for current year happens to be 118 Divide it by fixed base index number for the previous year 2013. That is given to be 117.4. Multiply this ratio by 100. That will give us the index number in terms of percentage. That is 100 or rather 100.51. See, very easy or not different from calculating the chain base index number from the data. Again, 2015. the fixed base index number for the current year 2015 given to be 121.3 divide it by the fixed base index number of the previous year that is given to be 118 multiply this ratio by 100 yes so the number comes to 102.8 or you can write it this in this way 2016 the fixed base index number for current year is 125.1 divided by the fixed base index number of the previous year that is 215 2015 121.3 
multiply this ratio by 100 that gives us the index number in terms of percentage 103.16 sorry 13 not 6 for 2017 it will be now fixed base index number for the current year 128.4 fixed base index number for the previous year 125.1 and multiply this ratio by 100 yes that will give us the 102.64 the value for 2018 fixed base index number for the previous year happens to be 131.6 fixed base index number for the previous year given to be 128.4 multiply this ratio by 100 the answer comes to 102.49 and last year 2019 the fixed base index number is 134.6 divided by the fixed base index number of the previous year 2018 that given that is given to be 131.6 into 100 and the answer is 102.28 so this is the process of converting fixed base index number to the chain base index number and now we know that that is not at all different from the calculation of chain base index number directly from the data both are same yes I hope now both the concepts are clear for you how to convert chain base index number to the fixed base index numbers and how to convert the fixed base index numbers to the chain base index numbers. Yes, I hope this lecture was useful for you as usual. Don't forget to like this lecture. Don't forget to visit and subscribe my channel and don't forget to recommend. Yes, there is a channel named Puar Academy. That is Puar Academy by Prashant Puar. Visit the channel, subscribe it, be alert for notifications. Yes, there are more than 600 lectures. And yes, the most important thing on my channel is there are chapter wise or topic wise playlists. So whatever topic you want to study, there is a separate playlist. If any topic is known by more than one titles, there are playlist by each and every title for example time series analysis is also known as business forecasting so I have prepared two playlists business forecasting as well as time series analysis yes that's it thank you very much